Meteorologist Sam Copland here with your noon web weather forecast update. And since Thursday, we've seen temperatures rise each day. Yesterday, just shy of 90 degrees. Today, I think we'll probably reach that. And if we don't reach it today, we have plenty more opportunity. Tomorrow over 90, Thursday over 90, and Friday will be pretty close to it before eventually we start to come back down to earth. As expected, it is September, but we're feeling more like July these next few days. Dew points are elevated, so on top of temperatures being near 90, it feels super sticky outside. You add in the humidity with the temperatures, and it feels more like 95 to 100 degrees today. And then it's going to be the same thing tomorrow afternoon, if not maybe a little bit warmer. So likely heat advisories will be posted again during the afternoon tomorrow. But for today, they're in effect from noon till 7 p.m. That's when the best risk are best risk of these heat indices being above 95 degrees are. And it's in effect for the Mohawk as well as the Hudson Valleys. So this afternoon, you do want to keep in mind if you're outside for long periods of time, make sure you want to you make you want to make sure that you stay hydrated and just take it a little bit slow. Unfortunately, it's going to remain quite sticky for the next five, six days, even as temperatures start to fall off later in the week, I still think humidity is going to remain elevated before eventually we start to turn more comfortable later on into the weekend and especially into early next week. But until that point, we're feeling very warm. 90 degrees are your high temperatures. And again, this is on the thermometer, so feeling more like the mid to upper 90s. Dry all day long. Tonight will be a muggy and mild night. So Maybe a good idea to keep the AC on tonight. Temperatures only dropping down to around 70 degrees. So heading after the bus stop tomorrow morning, you want to make sure you're not wearing too many layers because by tomorrow afternoon, we're really going to be spiking up once again to around 90 to even a couple degrees higher than today. So a few spots, places like Troy down through the lower to mid Hudson Valley could be rising into the low 90s for your high temperatures. But again, feeling much warmer than that, maybe closer to 95 to 100 degrees. Eventually, though, we are going to be breaking the heat, but it's going to take its time. There's a cold front that's slowly going to be moving eastward, so we're still going to remain warm through about Friday. Even Saturday is going to still be kind of a sticky day, even though temperatures are only going to be topping off into the low to mid-80s. Eventually, though, we're going to get cooler air coming on in into next week, but it's going to take some time, and along with that front, there's going to be the daily chances for some showers and storms later Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. For this afternoon, though, we will remain dry, just very hot, upper 70s to low 90s, within striking distance of this record high back in 2018 of 92 tonight. Upper 60s to low 70s is the lowest we're going to go tonight. Some patchy fog could develop late. Here is tomorrow. Upper 80s to low 90s, record high is 91, so we have a pretty decent shot at breaking that back in 1983, and we also got that got there again in 2018. And Thursday, it is much of the same, upper 80s to low 90s, sun and clouds muggy, and then there's a chance at some stronger storms breaking out in the afternoon. Before we wrap up the weather, just wanted to quickly show you what's going on in the tropics. We have one system, 70% chance of development over the next week, and we just had another system, 11 a.m. update by the National Hurricane Center named Tropical Depression 13, more than likely to become a Tropical Storm and eventually Hurricane Lee continuing to pull off towards the north and west by this weekend, knocking on the doorstep of areas in just north of the Bahamas. But it's a pretty uh, solid storm. Category 4 is the forecast by this weekend. We'll have to watch it into early next week. Does look like it will curve out to sea, but we'll get awfully close to the east coast. So monitoring that storm into next week. But until that point, we are going to be dry and hot Tuesday, Wednesday, first half of Thursday, then some showers and storms return in the afternoon. Stay with us Friday and throughout the weekend. But temperatures slowly but surely start to fall off. And I think eventually by the middle half of next week, we'll be drier and feeling much more comfortable. So back to where we should be. Thanks for tuning in.